Alright, what's good YouTube, it's Jay here. We are back with Star Wars Empire War Remake 5.0, but this time we've got a plethora of new things. Well, plethora might be a bit of an exaggeration, but we've got a bunch of new things to kind of try out. So let's just kind of hop into it and talk about some of the new changes. So before we even switch over to the actual gameplay, let's talk about what's actually changed. So I'm going to just read this directly from the Discord. Free mode got a major overhaul. You can now set up to five teams, edit the match in progress, assign units to various teams, reassign units from a team back to you and delete units from teams so basically free mode is a genuine free mode that you won't have to necessarily start over and over at least that's what i'm understanding anyway you have way more variety you could kind of play around with now in addition to introducing things mid-battle which is insane actually the republic dreadnought cruiser was re-added after having some major adjustments with lots of new uh, space and ground stat changes for a lot of units ai fixes script edits voiceovers and so forth screen and zon are being reworked criminal scourge bomber gunship has been added the whole cracker is now a not even a real like buildable unit anymore you'll just find it on like random pyro worlds and icons for minor build pads added in the republic valiant class star destroyers in the game but it is not fi finalized yet so we probably won't be using that until some of the things have been adjusted for so the goal today is to kind of play around with the new adjustments to free mode let's see what is this okay so we got stuff oh we have new complete unit icons now for all of the uh, minor build factions which is really really nice got the cis you got the republic uh and i think the val they did say the valiant is in here uh so this this might be it oh you can't build it yet all right well that, that's probably the valiant i'm gonna assume so uh but i feel like we're missing a couple of things right now i do know some units aren't fully finished yet like the hp units aren't completely redone um but we still have a lot of stuff we can kind of play around with and test out these mid-game uh like buildable units you could do now so let's just call in oh i don't know an isd2 and then i want to kind of see how this goes because i don't even see an option what is this oh here we are okay and this is begin battle pause battle wow that's cool despawn all units and despawn your units okay so let's test this out really quick with the star destroyer we'll call it in and see kind of how this whole system works because that's Preparing really really sick so this will despawn all the units let's let's press it and see what happens it's kind of fun just to experiment with this kind of stuff removed. and there's even a voiceover for it too all right that's cool that's really really sick so um yeah i mean we can assign multiple units to multiple factions assign your units to team one two three four five okay so let's just have like a three-way battle between like some isds or something so we'll build three Star of them really quick standing by. one right here uh we will assign units to team one now is this the team that i use wait let, let's read these descriptions really quick completing this will cause all units under your control to become neutral assigned to team one so that you begin the battle they will turn back under your control okay um the blah, 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 they turn to team two control and what is this assign team units to you okay so you can have them change mid-battle uh, has no AI, so a uh, unit will keep unit stationary. And I'm going to assume this is the same for this one. Okay, but this is for me. So let's go ahead and assign it to me really quick. Units assigned to team one. And then when we hit begin battle. Uh, let's see. Let's move out. So star this is the new Star Destroyer by. right here. Let's go ahead and hit team two. We've got three players selected right now from the uh, selection menu. To team two. And then we will go ahead and Calculating jump to do this, and we'll just turn it around really quick. Kind of like doing some weird like warlord shenanigans Start here, you know what I mean? In. Some war games type Moving stuff. Order Wait, can it not move? Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I thought it was broken. Coming All right. around. So let's just do this really quick. We will go ahead and assign this to unit or squad three. And then, uh, yeah, just to make sure, completing this will cause all units of the team to neutral become yours. Allow you to despawn and reset them as you please. Um... Okay, let's see how this goes. We'll hit begin battle. I just tapped out of the game by accident. Okay, this one's not fighting anything. But you can change it over, you can actually select units, which is really, really cool. So who is this one assigned to right now? I'm pretty sure we selected a third player, didn't we? Well, only work if there's a team three player. Yeah, so who's this guy? He's just a neutral star destroyer? 
And somehow we're losing this battle against this Star Destroyer? It's probably doing its unit ability or whatever. Um, Alright, so I'm not exactly certain how this is supposed to work off the top of my head. But we can go ahead and, and try this out. Let's try um, assign team unit three. Uh, team three yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, there we go. And then we'll just do this again, maybe? Let's try this again. Because now we're just ganging up on this poor little Star Destroyer. All right, so let's see what happens. This will assign... Oh, I just crashed the game. <laughs> okay, I see where I made the mistake right here. I didn't have a team three right here, so that's probably why we uh, didn't get that, like, proper, you know, that proper space battle, unfortunately. But uh, now everything should be settled, so we can go ahead and do this correctly. We will assign a team over here to Team 3. And you can't actually see what I'm doing right now. And it's also, is it not recording my uh, mouse? It's not recording my mouse, so that's okay. We'll worry about that later. Units assigned to Team 3. Okay, so we've gotten three little groups of Republic Hammerhead class cruisers here to uh, kind of play around with. I just want to see how this is going to work now that we've got a proper three-way battle system. Uh, battle started set up appropriately okay so yeah they'll shoot at each other wow this is so cool actually that's actually incredible the fact that we can have a feature like this now in empire war and just basically have like a little uh weird like three-way civil war pretty much and i'm pretty certain that this also is going to work for uh ground units as well yeah they're all just gonna duke it out with each other unless unless we reassign let's see so we can let's see let's see what we can do here all units under your control will become neutral and then assign to team two so i'm going to assume that means all of these guys will go to team two what we want to do here is uh get these other fellow republic loyalists to join our cause or not okay that didn't work just yet let's try it with this Team three units assigned to player. Okay, that didn't work. Wait, okay, can we pause the battle? Do we need to pause the battle first? Uh, let's let's try pausing the battle. Let's see. So we can despawn our own units. Let's pause this battle. Okay, so yeah, you can re-edit the battle again. Battle okay, so everybody becomes neutral, and then. I guess this is where we do it now. So you can reassign. Wait, 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 wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Team there we go. Units assigned to player. Okay. And then. Team one units assigned there we go. Okay, so now you can change it up a little bit. And you can move them around. Yeah, okay, you can freely move them around again. Wow, that is so cool, actually. All right. So let's let's get these poor guys over here some much needed assistance. Let's get like a couple of um, a few four ray gunships, a Centurion class or two uh, to back these poor gentlemen up. And then uh, let's see. Now, I don't know exactly how this is going to currently work. These guys are all under my control at this very moment. Um, I don't think we have a team two technically anymore either. And this is still team three. And then, um, cause I'm going to assume if we do this now, this will just straight up reassign everybody, uh, to me. And I don't want that. I want the, uh, Units assigned to team three. okay. Let's try and see if we can maybe make this work. Battle started. Oh yeah. All right. That just reassigned everybody. These are all basically reassigned to unit of, to, to <laughs> they're all reassigned to the wrong thing. So let's see, maybe we can make these guys under my control? Or do we have to pause it again? Okay, let's do this. Okay, now everybody's on my side. Well, that's not what we wanted. That's okay. I, I get the concept and the idea, <clears throat> but that's extremely cool that we even have that as an option. Let's play around with this some more. Let's do this. We will currently assign all of these units Units to our control and then i guess oh you know what we could test out the new dreadnought uh, heavy cruiser as well but it doesn't really make much sense to throw it against this random assortion of republic starships let's just call it another uh hour or two i don't really know let's do this really quick i i, I just love using the old republic units i get so much satisfaction out of it 
and then um we will do a sign to group two like i say it takes a little bit of understanding to kind of like figure it out but once you get it going then you get it going you know what i mean oh and we broke the game again i do know that this whole feature is still new and it's probably just a wee bit unstable. So, you know, once you play around with it enough, you can eventually just break it kind of easy. My goal is to keep doing that so we can have some fun with it. Okay, so we're over here with just this weird um, assortion of just ground units. We're just gonna kind of play around with things a little bit here and see what kind of crazy shenanigans I guess we can kind of get into, you know? We're gonna bring in a couple, maybe one more ATAT -AT just to kind of even it out a little bit for this side. We'll bring in like an... Um, Let's see, let's bring in a regular AT-AT. AT -AT All right, here you go. So we've got this faction over here. We'll give these guys a couple more uh, ATTEs and bring in a few more additional clone commandos. Even though this is BX Battle Droid. Okay, so let's currently assign all these guys under unit two. What I'm gonna be using is mostly gonna be Sith units, I think. Uh, again, cause I'm just kind of addicted to the Sith units right now. And there are also some new Sith units we haven't even tried out yet, which is going to be really, really cool. We'll build a couple of our freaky ghoul crawler guys over here. Walker, on the move. And we'll call it some ATTEs. And then whatever this is supposed to be. This is apparently some new unit called the Kadu Rider Company. And they got a couple of, we got like a flash speeder company we'll bring in. Moving on, boss. And then we'll bring in these guys. What is this? Oh, it's these things. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. All right, well, we've got one faction assigned over here of nothing but Imperial units. Flash speeder reporting and then let's just have them kind of group them over here. Yeah, there goes that flash speeder. And then you'll go over here. Oh my God, they're all just bunched together like before. <laughs> all right, you come over here. You come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all of you get into the front, too. There we go. All right, so all these guys are pretty much hanging out over here and ready to go. Let's go ahead and assign them to Unit 3, and then we'll call in our Sith units, and uh, including a couple of new units, including the Behemoth-class Walker. Okay, so these guys are all good to go. <laughs> and then let's call in this monstrosity. I don't even know if this actually works or not. I might crash the game by using this unit. We will see, though. I didn't even see a marker for it. All right, well, there's the behemoth again. There was one other unit over here dubbed the, what is it? The Lancer Walker? Ready, sir. Ready to command. It's here. Okay, it doesn't have a real model yet, so it's kind of broken. Walker, yeah. That's okay. We've got the behemoth class uh, Sith Walker, which is just a six-legged at AT, basically, that's designed to induce nightmares and cause chaos and panic. So let's see how powerful this monstrosity actually is. It's called the rest of our Sith forces, which will be mostly troopers. And then uh, let's just see what kind of nonsense we can honestly call some of these things. We'll call them these ATMPs too, because these are a part of the Sith Empire, apparently. I do know we gave them those guys just so they have uh, some extra walker units on the ground. But uh, yeah, let's see. We got a three-way battle between some of the heaviest walkers in the entirety of Star Wars uh, history. I don't know if really count the ATT as a heavy walker, but we do have these smaller ATATs over here with their big brother, just the obnoxiously large uh, ATAT. But uh, all right, so we should be good to go. And there's the ATMP. I don't really have any expectations for what faction will win this battle, but I still think this is just hilarious to actually do. All right, so here we go. We're gonna assign these to unit one or group one or team one or whatever. And then we will start our odd three-way battle between the Sith Empire, the Galactic Republic, and Palpatine's Galactic Empire. Let's just see if this will work without it crashing. Okay, there we go. Okay, they're ganging up on the Republic. Yeah, let's focus on these guys for the time being. Screw that. Let's focus on some of these guys. And then let's get our troopers in there too. What just happened to this thing? Oh, this is... Look at this monstrosity. How much damage do they do to an at, -AT? Like a regular class. There we go. Our droids are putting in some work. The clone troopers over there are rushing us. 
and getting gunned down in the process. The Imperial Stormtroopers are all dead. <laughs> there we go. What do we got here? These are all Grenadiers. And then the uh, Behemoth classes are just basically not dying and they're also kind of sliding around. Take out that last one. And then um, I guess we could pause the battle. But I don't want to. I don't want to reassign units to my control by accident. So we'll let it kind of play out. I gotta ask the devs a couple more questions about this feature before I just kind of go willy nilly. Oh yeah, we have the um. Yeah, there we go. Let's conjure some evil spawns. Yeah, there we go. Go get them, ghouls. <laughs> go get them. Oh my God, what is happening right now? I actually feel kind of bad doing this to some clone commandos. But most of our troops are still alive. We've lost the behemoth class. As it still dukes it out with the uh, AT-AT, which is literally kicking its ass, actually. Um, okay, the AT-AT is damn good. Noted. And the clones seem to have joined sides with them. Unless he gets stepped on. Careful. I think he actually just straight up got stepped on. Oh no! Oh no, there's still more of them! Advancing on the enemy now! Get away! Go, go, go! How in the hell do we actually lose this battle? Um what is even happening right now? Okay, there's the invisible walker. <laughs> Let's pause this battle really quick. RIP to this one ATTE over here. Somehow, in some way, the Imperial Walker survived, of all things. So let's see. What else can we call them? We've got a bunch of stupid units we can literally just play around with. And I say stupid because they are legitimately just kind of dumb, but in a fun way. So what else do we have on the ground? We've got uh, some Mandalorian units, some Hapen boys, some CIS units, and we've got some CIS air units. Yes, yes, okay. This is gonna be so much fun to play around with, man. This is the CSA, got our Sith forces. Um, oh, we do have the Kashyyyk uh, Starfighter thing. So let's go ahead and assign the current existing units to unit two. I guess this is a smart thing to do. You assign these to unit two. So there we go. And then uh, we'll call them these guys. Some local rebel forces that came across some hardy Republic hardware. Well, I guess this isn't really Republic. It's a 2M Saber tank. So that's not exactly what I would call a Republic unit, but that's okay. And we'll turn them around really quick and start this battle. Begin battle. Battle started. All right, engage. Take them out. 2M tanks. Uh, why is the at, -AT sad? You all right there, buddy? You're looking a little down. I think it is shooting at us. Uh, I don't, I don't know why, why the at, -AT is depressed, but you know what? That, that's okay. All of our shots are reflecting off of it. What the f Wow, that's actually crazy. The laser blasts are literally reflecting off of it. And of course, we got our Wookiee gunships over here. These things are a literal heavy gunship. That's actually really cool. Okay, you know what though, guys? I don't think this battle is going too hot, so let's go ahead and um, do a wee bit of despawn and just to see if this function truly works or not. This battle just doesn't cut it for me. But you know what the cool part is? You can just despawn it and start the heck over. So that's the new feature. I probably should have shown off the Dreadnought Cruiser, but I think we'll do that in another video where I show off more of the Republic units and stuff, because a lot of people have been wanting to see more Clone Wars related things, because Clone Wars is the most um, popular thing right now so we'll save that for another video guys but i want to thank you all for watching sorry for the lack of content lately i've been super busy with my new job with the second channel because there's a lot of content coming out around call of duty and some other games right now i've just been trying to balance things appropriately i have real life stuff obligations obviously with my family and wife it's just been really 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 freaking busy and i wanted to come up with a cool idea for the channel versus just making another generic free mode video and while this was probably another generic free mode video it had some really interesting stuff with the new changes coming to free mode i want to thank you all for watching if you're new here be sure to subscribe to the channel because i upload pretty frequently ignore these last two weeks also be sure to leave a like with this video and share it with your friends that also love star wars stuff and watching a random black guy do really stupid shit and as always this is with jay the gamer i will see you in the next video may the force be with you all peace